So, on to the big story of the week. That would be PlayStation VR launched on Wednesday. Um, and the reviews are either um, fairly glowing. Um, some people are saying that um, Sony has won the Virtual Reality Wars already. Some people are a little bit less enthusiastic. Um, they are saying, uh, basically, my <clears throat> the gist that I'm getting from it is, uh, well, it works. It's not the best headset out there. Um, it's not as bad, apparently, as when they did the when they had res the Resident Evil 7 VR experience um, for E3, and then later the uh, later GDC. A lot of people said that it looked rough running on uh, current, you know, the standard PlayStation 4 model. Um, but from what I have seen of the coverage, it doesn't look all that bad when compared to the same titles that run on the Oculus. It does run at a lower resolution, but it's still running at like basically 1080p. So, and uh, 60 frames per second, by the way, with very little, um, I, I don't know, I, I've heard, I've heard, two different accounts. I've heard one account said that yes, most of the games have frame frame rate drops, um, whereas others don't. So that I don't know which story to believe because I don't have one because and I'm not going to get one. So don't blame you. <laughs> well, the other thing is is you know, the Oculus is six hundred dollars just for the headset, but they just announced. Uh, controllers that will cost two hundred dollars for controllers for the Oculus Rift. Yes. I mean, is that because the Vive has controllers? I think so. I mean, they're they're trying really hard. I mean, think about it. Oculus was going to be like the only VR headset. Then I think Sony announced their VR headset. And then HTC just came out of nowhere, and they're like, yeah, ours will be out in a few months. Yeah. And I think they actually beat Oculus Rift to market, even. I want to say Vive uh, was the first that actually came out. I could be wrong on that, but um, I know that, and you know, that's the Vive is $800, but it comes with controllers. Yeah. So that's basically making it evenly priced with the Vive. The PlayStation VR, um, it will require the... PlayStation camera, which I want to say is $60 on its own. Um, not all games require this, but some games require two, not just one, but two PlayStation Move controllers. I have no idea how much those are nowadays. But you can basically, the headset by itself is $400. If you get the bundle pack, with which includes the headset, camera, and two Move controllers, it's $500. So that's not a bad value if you don't have any of those pieces of equipment. But if you do have two move controllers, uh, you can just spring for the new camera and headset and save some, some cash. Um, <clears throat> so mixed reviews, I guess, is what we would call it. Um, I honestly see this as still, I'm still saying it's a trend. It's like what, it's like 3D gaming when 3D TVs were coming out and Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 were like shoehorned into um, support <clears throat> 3D. And it didn't work very well. Uh, it locked, I know with the PlayStation 3, it basically locked games to run at 720p, 30 frames per second, even if they could do more not on a 3D setting. Uh, and like it's just that the whole desire to get something running on hardware which wasn't or originally and then it turned out to be a trend anyway except this is a very pricey trend um, I've seen some other articles floating around too that have basically said that VR game development is kind of at a standstill right now it's coasting on the novelty of it still <clears throat> even though the novelty is starting to wear off <clears throat> but that's basically w right now it's starting to get a little bit stale because you can't really do a whole lot of the major experiences because number one 
it's not really fun to play for extended periods of time. Like an hour is like the cap for a lot of people. And I just, uh, I don't see it really justifying such, because $500, $400, no matter how you slice it, that's still a lot of money for something that Sony may not, it's probably not going to support once the trend comes to an end. And that's also just for an accessory. You could take that and go buy an entirely new console. <coughs> there is that too. Um, yeah, it's very pricey. Very, very pricey. And uh, Sony has said that the PlayStation 4 Pro will be able to smooth out a lot of it, fix the frame rate drop issues, but that's an additional $400. That being said, you still need a more expensive PC to play the Oculus Rift and Vive. So it's basically it's basically the cheapest the cheapest of three expensive options. And apparently, you know, you're not going to get the smoothest, but at the same time, I don't know, I'm I'm of two minds of the uh, on this. I'm not interested in it as a gamer at all. I'm about as interested in it as motion controls, which I think this is just the new motion controls for this generation. Um, it doesn't really do, I think we, m we may have, I don't know, there might be a developer that comes out and completely blows our minds like, no, this is really what VR can do. This is, you know, the creme de la creme of, of VR and completely revolutionize it. Could happen. I don't know. I don't think it is. Um, and this being a trend and with Sony's track record of supporting uh, peripherals, PlayStation Move came out six years ago. How long was it relevant for? About a year. You would give it that much? Yeah, true. I was going to say, like, like the, the animal thing. I was like, I heard, like, a few people get excited about that. And I think the majority of them were girls because, oh, cute animals. You can pet them. I'm like, all right. You can do the same <laughs> thing on a DS with Dogs. Yeah. And so, also, yeah, that's another thing. It's like the Wii did better with motion controls than the, than the move. move. Yeah, it's a... Uh... I just, I wouldn't, just, if you're looking for a VR experience, I, I honestly, if, and if it interests you, and I'm saying this not just because, you know, I tend to poo-poo it because I'm not a fan, I would wait until the, the technology gets better. Because, you know, first, as, as a first adopter, you're going to be, you're going to be paying the absolute premium price on this. It's new technology. And you're not going to get that much back for your money compared to what could come out in one or two years from now. So that's my take. Did you have anything further to add? Um, I don't know. Uh, like what you said earlier about it being like the cheaper of two options. I think right now the PlayStation VR is the only console virtual reality headset yes yeah xbox doesn't have one uh yes. nintendo doesn't have one are they coming out with one um they have hinted that they will probably have one for scorpio of course they will so that's it and scorpio is going to be a very expensive console i'm thinking 600 dollars. yeah probably 5.99 us dollar yeah <laughs> um so not many people will buy that. And then you'll have to buy an expensive headset on top of that. So unless it's going to completely blow the Vive and Oculus Rift out of the water, I don't see that being a success. I don't I don't see that happening at all. I think that like the virtual reality headsets coming up for consoles, or at least this one, is kind of like if you can't afford to get an expensive desktop because like... Yeah, this is like four hundred dollars or five hundred for like a package of like things that did not very good, and I guess they were just like, let's just throw them together and maybe it'll make a good. Yeah, um, like it's... no one uses the camera for anything. No one uses the move for anything. Yeah, if you want to get into virtual reality, this if 
if it just seems like something that you would find enjoyable, this would be your option because it's the cheapest of the three. And chances are you've already got a PlayStation 4. Because yeah. most people who play video games, they're either going to have a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One. And usually... Actually, no, I'm not even going to bring Nintendo into this. No. Um, <laughs> but if you're serious about doing VR, chances are you probably have a pretty decent desktop. Or just a desktop that you would require to do that. And by the way, for like a desktop you would want to have... To, that could run these really well for the Vive and the Oculus Rift. Like, the Vive is $800. Most desktops that you would want that could run these really well are, like, triple that cost. Yeah, they're going to be the... They're going to include, like, the new uh, 1070, 1080 graphics card that NVIDIA just came out with. Yeah, so it's like... That are not cheap. Building it or just buying it, it's going to be expensive. And then getting that type of headset, it's like, that's going to be expensive. But if you're... If what you do mostly in gaming is on a desktop or like, yeah, with a computer, chances are you're more likely to buy that because maybe console VR isn't like what you want and you could probably tell that that wasn't going to be a good idea. Um, but if you're into that, but you don't have the money to do that, but you're like, mm, I can, you know, I, I want to put $400 into this if you if anyone has thought that. You know this is your way of getting into that this is the cheapest way that you can do that so it's and it's not bad i've seen some footage of the playstation vr and uh the article that we have this is like some things ran better than others some things weren't that great or just weren't enjoyable but that was mostly just the game not enjoyable not mm -hmm. really having to do with the vr um it did say that uh if if you do like with the controllers if you do usually in virtual reality you'll have like something to indicate you have like the controllers are there and you can like move them and you can see them move that way you're not just like you can see the game and you have the controllers but you don't know where you're like where your controllers are at on the screen in like, relation still to have that. something like yeah. that yeah well in a couple of the games apparently what your controllers would be in the game uh they like move or like twitch a lot and so, like in uh, they mentioned, Arkham, they mentioned Arkham in the Arkham game. This dude is like trying to read this like clipboard and get some information off, and the clipboard's just shaking. <coughs> and like virtual reality, like that's already disorientating because you your eyes are seeing movement, but your body isn't feeling it. So that's right. already going to disorientate you. But then having something move in front of you while you're trying to read it, and you're like zooming in, and it's not there, that's just going to make it worse. Yeah. So. And the uh, review that we're referencing, by the way, is the the uh, Kotaku uh, Kotaku review um, that that we've been taking a look at. Um, I will say this: they they said that uh, the Battle Tanks game didn't seem to justify a sixty dollar price tag for you know the limit. You can't do much in the game. I don't think any VR game no should be that much. At most thirty. Because yeah. you're not getting a full game experience. The best one that I have heard, by and large, is the Batman Arkham VR. And that only lasts for like three to four hours. And then it's done. The yeah. Order Night, uh, the Order 1886, anyone ring a bell? Same game length, and we didn't, we didn't appreciate that. So, um, But at the same time, this is a... I believe that game is actually only 20 for, for the Batman Arkham VR. That's a fair price for a three to four hour game. $60, no, absolutely not. I don't care what kind of development you put into it. No. It's not it's not worth it if it's it's not worth it if it's only gonna be a few hours. Yeah. Yeah. So um I think we may have talked about virtual reality beforehand on the podcast. Yes. And I think I I, I wouldn't get it and that's mostly because I don't think that the technology is caught up with the idea yet. Like you said, um, and chances are it probably won't for a little bit longer. Um, not not to like say anything against the the Vive or the the Oculus, Oculus Rift because apparently a lot of people have liked those games, and um, I've en I've enjoyed watching people play those <coughs> games. It's it looks enjoyable. I just don't have the money to go out and buy it, so might as well see how well it plays and for those two it runs pretty well uh for consoles i guess 
right now. The PSVR. It seems is, adequate. Is okay. It it's, seems adequate. It's okay for where it's at. For consoles, I'm sure people will take what they can get. So yeah, not bad, not great. You're gonna get no. You're not gonna get your money's worth. I I would not price this at four hundred or five hundred dollars. 